Hello YouTube, uh, this is a uh, demo uh, technology sneak peek for next car game and I just wanted to try it out and it looks pretty interesting because it's uh, it's not really live damage physics but it's like uh, when you crash into something it puts damage physics onto the car so for example I'm going to do a crash on this camera right now so I got some bumper damage and the what's really cool about this damage model is that there's a lot of detail when you get into a crash like you got parts flying everywhere and yeah I took a pretty decent amount of damage and you can damage your wheels and everything so there's all kinds of stuff to mess around with this tech demo so I'm just gonna show you around and bang oh man that was a heavy hit does the car still work? ah uh, barely I don't know if I can really drive it so uh, R to reset and E to repair so let's go into this hammer right here Oh dang. Oh god. What's happening? Oh! Do a barrel roll. So, R to reset, and then hit a concrete barrier. So let's investigate the damage. Uh, pretty much my left side is completely gone. Back side, eh, it might be still alright. And this side isn't too bad. The wheels are still intact, except one wheel is completely out. Still works pretty well though. So let's go... Since this car is badly damaged, let's go into one of these right here. These things usually make you go fly around, and they do quite a bit of damage. And you see my wheel popped off right there. I'm rolling around, taking a lot of damage. Parts flying everywhere. And this thing is still drivable. It's a little bit hard to drive, but, I mean, it's still got some speed to it. So let's get in here and get wrecked. Oh, man. <laughs> this game is really cool on damage physics. So I'm going to go in here again. Completely destroy my car. Come on, it has to still work. Ah, uh, it's, it's lost its balance. Anyway, alright. So let's go in here with the three, uh, I don't know what you would call these. The spinning hammers, I guess. That's what I'm going to call them. Oh, dang. <laughs> this is just amazing. I just crumpled my car to a ball. Question is, does it still work? Let's see if it does. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, the front isn't too bad, I guess. Well, it is pretty bad, but... I mean, the back side is just smashed into the car, and everything's just not set up properly. So let's go in here one more time. I probably shouldn't spend too much time in this, but... Oh, God. Does it still work? Yes, it does still work, but barely. Go in here again until we get destroyed. Okay, we're definitely destroyed now. Investigate the damage, and you can't even... It's just, it just looks like a hunk of metal now. That's basically what it is in a nutshell. Alright. Get back at the place. So... I guess we can go into a ramp and hit a bunch of objects. If you hit uh, some objects pretty hard, such as these uh, metal cans right here, you take quite a bit of damage. And I just hit a ramp. I mean, the car still works quite finely, but, I mean, considerable amount of damage, especially a nice dent in the roof, some back damage, and it looks like I hit my front up quite a bit, too. But, the wheels are still intact, and the parts of the car are still working good. My handling probably isn't the best, though. Alright, so let's go off this ramp, reset my car real quick, and, yeah, go up here and make all these barrels fall down and show you the amazing physics. Sorry about if this game's lagging a little bit, I don't have the best computer, but... I'm still getting a 30 FPS while recording this, which isn't too bad, and then YouTube lowers my frame rate a little bit as well when I upload the videos. The game's graphics are especially amazing. I also tried out BeamNG Drive, that has amazing physics as well, that's Y physics. And it... BeamNG doesn't have the best graphics, but they're still really, really good. And if you want to get a more realistic feel for physics, I would go with Beam and G Drive. But this is more like an arcadey or arcade kind of uh, fix physics to it. And I should investigate my damage. So let's uh, go on this ramp right here and try to get as far as we can. You want to be careful up here, especially when going over this hill. You're gonna have to brake right away, so you don't want to gain too much speed. As you can see up here. It's 
Let's do a spin. Or not really. Oh, we're gonna hit it pretty hard. Oh man. Oh, I think we pretty much crushed a roof. Did even more damage. Something fell off. Looks like we just pretty much crumpled the car, especially the roof, and the wheels are pretty much all messed up, and I just damaged it even more. I think our parts, are especially our front bumper, is just dragging across the floor. Surprisingly still works, but it doesn't work very well. Still gonna try to drive it around, just damaged it even more. This roof is completely gone, you would probably not be a, a live driver if this happened to you. Not very good. Just banged up the back of my bumper pretty badly. Alright, still good. As you can see, if you took this much damage in like the MG drive or something, you would car would your car would not be okay at all. In fact, it would just be a giant bent mess. So let's go up here. This is gonna do quite a bit of damage to my car. Oh I meant to hit the middle of it, but that's alright. Boom. So let's investigate the damage with another camera. And uh, engine's pretty much gone. Uh, it's still gonna work though, obviously. Uh, wheel's not touching the ground really, and handling is pretty bad. Um, I'm gonna try to drive up here, see if I can make it through it. Uh, kinda lost control. Uh, took quite a bit of damage there. So our car is just flattened even more. Can't really control which way it's turning now because it's got so much damage on it. Only the back wheels are pretty much doing the job now. This car is going to lose its balance with some more damage. So let's go over here, knock down all these uh, barrels, and then start falling on my car. They won't really do much. They might cause a little bit of a dent, so let's reset the car. Might cause an unnotice unnoticeable part amount of damage. Might get a couple dents out of this, though. I mean, the physics are just amazing. I mean, just look at how detailed that was. Ah, uh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Alright, I was obviously stuck. So, uh, you got a little bit of damage. The front's not really angled properly. What about here? The rest of the car looks pretty good. The front looks like it's Got a little bit to it. Maybe the roof does too, but I can't really tell. So if you smash into a concrete barrier, your car's gonna get pretty much toast. And I actually smashed into two, but I only destroyed one. So you can see where I impacted that barrier right there on the wheel. Completely just ripped into my vehicle. And it, oh, I backed into a crate as well, so that ripped into it. So I'm gonna back into one of these things. Oh, just ripped my car apart again front's pretty much done for, so uh, let's get a nice uh, view on backing it up. Oh, I didn't really destroy it. Got a nice huge dent back now. Now my handling isn't doing very well. Must have damaged something pretty vital to the car. Alright, now our back is just completely decimated. And what's that trying to hang off there? I think my door's coming apart. Uh, so let's go inside the hammer, try this thing out. Alright. I don't think it's gonna hit me, so let me... Oh, there we go. It's barely gonna hit me. See if I can hit it on its end. Alright. Since our car is pretty much ruined, still works just fine, though. Um, let's go into here and just get torn shreds. Ah! I surprisingly did not, it, that didn't really do much to my car at first. Reset. Nah, uh, this car doesn't really work anymore. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I can't get it to work. Alright, so... What else should we try? Let's smash into some crates and show you how that damage works as well. You're not going to take as much damage, probably. And, of course, I collided pretty hard into it. Probably heard a popping sound when I ran in, but that probably is good. And what's cool about these crates is that you can just completely just destroy them into shreds, as you can see here. And a lot of shreds as well. So, took quite a bit of damage in the back. It's not too bad, though. And the front's a little bit indented. 
but the rest of the car should be fine. Internal parts and wheels. Smash into a bunch of these. My car not, might not be very good after this. Oh, well, that's surprising. Um, front is pretty damaged, but it's actually not too too bad. So let's uh, back up into it. This is probably going to be all oh, the destruction. The destructiveness is really cool. It's destroying tons of crates. It surprisingly, doesn't affect the frame rate too much either. I'm just getting a solid 30 FPS just going through here. That's not bad. So completely destroyed that. So let's run into a bunch of barrels. This is going to do quite a bit of damage probably. And just knock down the whole stack. And just probably that much left of the front anymore. Back into a bunch of these. Completely just wrecked everything and threw it all over the place. So I'm going to run into these tires now. And this is probably going to do even more damage to my car. Because usually these things are softer. But... Yeah, you can tell that it's kind of wrecking my car. My car is fine. And most of the damage is centered in the front, so it's not really hitting the wheels that much. But you can... Uh, oh, that's cool. I didn't know the skid plates slowly corrode off. I didn't notice that. I didn't know the skid plates slowly fall off. Interesting. A lot of parts can fall off in your car. Let's go around here and just... Just uh, run into everything. Pretty cool stuff. Hit a concrete barrier, because why not? Hit this wall as well. And completely destroy my car. The left wheel's not doing too bad. And that left wheel is completely gone now. Surprisingly, it still works. One wheel gone is not too bad, but if you start getting damage and all. Ah, crap, I just reset an accident. Alright, so let's get shot by the cannon. Because why not? Oh god. Oh! Ho oh, That was epic. Alright. So here's my car. From Aftermath. Eh. Pretty bad damage, but it's still suitable. Handling's a bit off. And that completely just rocked my car, for sure. So, let's go on that ramp right there. Then we'll do some full speed uh, testing later on. So let's do a sharp turn, e-brake, lost control a little bit, alright, get into the center. Alright, here we go. I kind of like this camera better because you can just uh, free look. I already damaged my car. That wasn't very good to be honest. <laughs> I just love how I just damaged the front. It's just so perfect. It, it kind of looks like an F1 car, kind of, in the front. And it still handles well. Still handles just as normal. <laughs> completely destroyed the front. So let's smash this at like full speed. Oh man. Definitely be a dead man from that one. Alright, so. Yeah. Got like nothing left. The driver looks a little bit off. Oh. Yeah, so let's uh, go test this out full speed. When we go to the end of the map, it'll crash into a wall. Plus, not only the graphics pretty cool in this game, but if you listen to the engine, it sounds pretty cool as well. If you hit that yellow line, by the way, pretty much uh, respawn into a different area. Or just, they'll teleport you back. So let's hit this at full speed, get my camera ready. And here we go. BAM! It's definitely a head-on crash that's really strong. All my frontal parts are just completely gone. Um, engine is still in there, but it's just completely destroyed. So let's do that one more time. And just completely destroy the back of the car, or the front of the car, sorry, excuse me. Handling is not so good because the front tires are just completely decimated. I start slowing down. Go up a little bit more. Start to see the yellow line a bit. Alright. <laughs> Front tires are not working at all, in fact. This one's still going. Alright, get my camera ready. Make sure I'm on. Yes, I'm on. And boom! Oh, dang. There's nothing in the front is left. 
It's just gone. Think the driver would survive that? No, the driver looks like he got crushed. <laughs> um, I can't back out of this. It's got no more power. Uh, I don't really see anything left of the engine, and there's just more parts laying around. Uh, tires are completely gone. Everything's gone. So let's do a, um, a back test at full reverse speed. See what that does. Quite a bit of damage. More centered on the right. And let's do that again. And let's do some rollover test as well. I mean, the back is completely destroyed now, but surprisingly, it's still intact pretty well. Drift into these. No, I meant to hit the side. So let's test these out. Um, I already hit that. <laughs> Oops. Alright. I just did it again. Oh, I know something fun that we can do. Alright, let's go hit a bunch of crates. Oh, I just damaged my car again. Bad driver. Alright. Oh, man. Destruction. Epicness. Completely destroyed the... Yeah, that's definitely going to do quite a bit of damage as well. Alright. So let's do that again. Boom. A bunch more parts just fell in my car. Alright, so let's get on these and start hopping around on my car. Takes a little bit. There we go. And just start rolling around. And jump again. <laughs> Let's keep doing this for a while. Oh, that's not going to be good. Oh, man. Actually, that wasn't too bad. But the body of my car is just looks completely different because it's just all stretched out. I'm probably doing some real bad damage to my wheels right now. It doesn't look too bad. My car just looks extremely strange now. It's not going to be good. Holy cow, that's the biggest one I've ever done. Oh, there goes the back tires. Goodbye, back tires. And the front is just, the, or the back is just completely raised up. Just nothing left of it. Alright. So let me get into normal camera. Um, what else is there to do? Let me see. Um, okay. We can go up this uh, thing right here and do a spin around. I've never successfully did this before, though. But we can do it. It's not going to end well. Oh, yeah, I made it. Yes, I can do it. And there's this thing right here. If we can do it correctly, we can get through that little hole right there. So let's do that. I think this is the harder side. I guarantee I'm going to make it. Oh, barely <laughs> hit the bottom of my car. You can kind of see where it hit it. If you look closely, bottom of my car. And then I hit the front or uh, the roof as well. Overall damage isn't that bad. This is the easy part. Get too much speed going. Hit the roof. That was nice and smooth. Usually if you do jumps like that, it takes quite a bit of damage. So let's drive through this thing nice and slowly. Kind of test out the suspension and show you uh, show you this. Turning is nice and simple. The brakes are a little bit strong, but they're kind of realistic as well. Kind of like how the cars are designed to be old and tough. Not being safety, or not being safe or anything like that, but... Oh, 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 oh. My bad. There we go. Oh. Investigate the damage. Dang. <laughs> Look at my driver. His face is just completely flat into the roof. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, so I think that will be a conclusion of this video. And let's just get into the grinder real quick. Another grinder, in fact. And let's just completely head on charge into it. This is the grinder that goes up and down. Oh! What's it doing? What's it doing? I think we're gonna, just going to fly back out in it. There we go, now we can get inside. Shoot you back out. And now we're just a square thing of metal. And I'm surprised I still have all four wheels. Are we upside down? I can't even tell. 
No, we're... Yeah, I look like a miniature car now. Just completely into a ball of metal. Let's do that one more time. Once it's back up, okay. Now we get smashed. Actually, you didn't really... Actually, my back is completely fine. I only smashed up my front and a little bit of my roof and, and caved it upwards. So let's do that again. My back's definitely going to get smashed in now. Oh, dang. That was bad. <laughs> you kind of see the physics of the game now. It just keeps crumpling and crumpling your car. You can see all the tiny little parts and details right there. That's just amazing. Put a bit of damage to my front, and that looks really, really cool. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Also pick up a free demo from this game. You can pro I think you can get it on Steam for like 30 bucks or so. It's not that badly priced, and it's a fun game. Uh, this is a free demo, so it doesn't have that much content in it. Uh, if you get the full game, they'll give you a much larger playground than this with a lot more to do. And more cars as well, and they're adding more features. It's an early alpha access game. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Make sure to subscribe, like, uh, share this as well. And uh, also check out my other videos if you're interested. I'll be out.